Hello, welcome to your session. Today is going to be a daily essentials Pilates class. It's going to be full body, perfect for you to do while you're traveling because all you'll need is a mat. And we'll be taking the foundations that you're already familiar with and just jazzing it up and having a little bit of fun. So grab your mat and let's get started. We'll start by sitting to the side. Hands are behind the knees, sitting up nice and tall, open through the shoulders and the chest. We'll start with an inhale breath, lightly pressing into your knees, opening the chest, exhale, pull your navel to your lower back and half curl your spine to the wall behind you. Sitting up tall again, inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, we start to curl, finding a gentle cat curl. If you feel that your hip flexors are holding on, just point your toes to the sky and press your heels into the mat. Take this at your own pace. Exhaling as you curl. Inhale as you sit tall. We'll take it two more times. And up and one. Exhale, hold. Reach your arms out from behind your knees, reaching forward. We're gonna take a little twist down towards the mat and back through center over to the other side and center, front arm is reaching forward through the center, knees and hips stay steady. Just finding a little thoracic twist, thoracic is mid back, one more. Reaching forward, take an exhale breath, slowly roll it down, lower back, middle back, and head. Hands are gonna push down to the ground, walk your feet in, pressing into your heels, taking an exhale breath, Let's roll those hips towards your chest and off the mat. Deep breath in at the top. Exhale, slowly coming down bone by bone. Lower back. Release the pelvis, breath in. Exhale, rolling up hips and shoulders are aligned with knees and feet. And release. So this is a time to tune into your body as we gently warm up. To just check your alignment. Exhaling on the way down. Check that you pause like your mid back shoulder blade area. You don't want to try to lift all the way up off your shoulders. We're going to go one more time. Curling up. You pause there at the shoulder blades, the edge. And slowly rolling it all the way back down. Hands are going to come behind your head. Elbows are off the mat, kind of pointing up towards the sky, taking an exhale breath. We're curling the head and chest up. Gaze through your knees, hold for an inhale. Breath out as you slowly roll back down. Exhale, we take it up again. Eyes through thighs, hold. And then slowly rolling it down again. As you hold at the top, you pull your belly button in deeper and you breathe into your chest. And then slowly rolling it down, keeping your rib cage on the mat as you roll down. Exhale, we take it up. Try to keep your hips and knees steady. Let's go one more. Hold it, reach your arms out next to you, draw deeper into your belly button. We'll reach those fingertips past the feet. We take an inhale, pump the arms. And exhale, reach your fingers to that wall. Breath out. We're not gonna be here for long, we're just doing a gentle warm up. Eyes through thighs, inhale. And exhale. Give me one more round. And breath out. Reach forward, hold. Bring your arms over chest as you bring your head down. Good job. We're gonna take an exhale, breath rolling up through the hips again, peeling it up bone by bone. Hold here. You're gonna take your hands down to the mat if you need support or hold them here at the top for some extra challenge. We're gonna go into marches, lifting one leg to tabletop. Back down to the mat, alternating feet. I want you to wrap into your core each time before you lift your leg to keep your hips steady. Push that bottom foot into the ground. It's not about speed, it's about that control. 
So find that core first, then lift the leg. If you're finding this is a too much of a challenge, bring your hands to the mat. Good job, final round. And last one. Hold that leg in a tabletop position. Slowly roll your spine down. Beautiful. We're gonna take a chest lift, extend your leg. Exhale, curl your arms, head, chest up, reach your leg away. Bring your knee in, bring your hands to, to chest. We'll go through that again. Exhale, curl up, extend the leg. Pull the knee in, arms over chest. We're gonna add on, curl. Bring it back down and then lift straight up into bridge. Squeeze that glute at the bottom. Hips go down, chest lift, reach. When you lift up, you're lifting from your mid back. When you lift to the top, you're pushing into that bottom foot. Exhale to lift, inhale down, exhale to curl, inhale down. Three, control, and reach. Two, good job, give me one more, and down. Curl up and hold. Keep that leg extended, arms behind your head, elbows up. Exhale, we rotate knee to elbow. Extend back to neutral. Keeping your hips steady, draw your navel in as you try to lift from that opposite shoulder. This bottom shoulder towards you twisting stays down. Three, feel like you're pushing and pulling. Two, beautiful, one more. Back to neutral, keep the leg long. Bring your head and chest down, hands next to the side of your body. We're gonna lift the leg up towards the ceiling. Leg circles straight down midline, out to the side and up. Keeping your hips steady. If you want feedback, hands on your hips. Two, and we'll reverse. And one, to neutral, find your center, leg goes out to the side, down and back up midline. Any breath here is a good breath, as long as you're breathing. Wrapping into your core with every exhale. Three, two and one gorgeous bring that foot down find your center again align feet knees hips shoulders bring those hands over chest we'll start again we're going to bring that opposite leg to tabletop chest lift extend the leg and arms back in and up to bridge slowly control it down chest lift And lift. Remembering to take the foundations that you know and making the adjustments that suits what feels good for you today in your body and your energy. Three. And lift. Good, straight up and down. One, hold. Bringing the hands behind your head. Press your tailbone into the mat. Rotate, pull your knee in. Extend and bring chest to neutral. And extend, navel pulls up in towards your chest as you take that rotation. Three. Reach, two. 
and one. Keep the leg long, bring your head and chest down, hands go next to the side of your body and lift your leg up as high as you comfortably can, keeping your pelvis in neutral. Leg goes down the midline, out to the side and up. Pressing into your bottom foot to keep that leg as steady as possible. Keep that rib cage hugging in and down to the mat. Three, two, good job. One, switch directions. Generously pushing into your hands and your hips. Three, two, and one. And bring that leg down, good job. Let's just take a little stretch there, pressing into your feet. And lightly curl your hips up bone by bone, all the way up. And then gently release it down just to stretch through those hip flexors. Hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna take it into rolling like a ball. So using your biceps, hug your knees in, lift your head, neck and shoulders. I want you to feel like you're lifting from your mid back, pulling your navel in. Take an exhale breath, we're gonna rock and roll up to seated, keep your eyes gazing down. Inhale, rock back. Breath out to rock up. Keeping your chin tucked in, eyes gazed up to your belly button. Inhale back, exhale up. Three. Shoulders down, two. And one, staying up and seated. See if you can hold it there for a moment and then bring your feet down, good job. Swinging yourself around to outside work. Righties, we're gonna go all the way down onto your bottom bicep. Arm is long, neck in line with tailbone and your feet are just slightly in front of your hips. Lifting up away from the mat. We'll take an exhale breath, pull your legs away from the ground. Inhale, back down. Now as you lift those legs, reach your legs away from you so that you try to maintain that small space under your waist. You're zipping up from here. Give me one more hold. Bottom leg is gonna bend in and down, but keep that top leg steady. And then exhale, find your foot again. We pull in and reach. Wrapping into the core as you reach. Good, just a little bit of fun playing around with our body. Keeping those foundations in mind. And one more, hold it. Squeeze those heels, toes together, lift a little bit higher. We're gonna beat those heels, tap them for eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze, two, one, and bring them down, good job. Lifting yourself up into your forearm, keeping that long line, press and lift from that waist, we're gonna take that top leg, lift it up in line with your hip. We're going forward and back. Exhale, pull back. Try to avoid any movement in your torso. So maybe dialing back the movement a little bit if you need. If you wanna increase the challenge, you take the hand away. Put the hand down for extra support. Lifting through that bottom waist. Try not to collapse. We've got two more. And one. Bring those legs together to squeeze. Now you're gonna bend your bottom knee if you need some extra support. Long legs for challenge. Hand in front of you for support. We're gonna take it up into a side lift and back down. Exhale up and release. 
more of a challenge. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust my position. Hand is going to go on your hip to lift up and tap. Resist as you come down. Three. Thinking of that head in line with your heels for two. For one, hold it up. Give me a count of four. Three, two, lift a little higher. One, and gently bring it down. Good job. Bring your knees in. Just give yourself a little stretch out of that shoulder, out of that waist, and swing it around to the other side. We're starting with those straight legs all the way down. Just adjust your leggings here, slipping. Reach out through those legs. Find that small space in your waist, and how you do that is you're going to push this hip away. Legs go up and release down. And down. Trying to keep that shoulder relaxed at the top. Also, if your head is floating up, dial it back. Don't take the legs as high. Lovely drawing up through that core, low abdominals. Three, reaching along. We're gonna hold it up on one. Bottom leg bends in on an inhale. Breath out, we reach. Take this at your own pace because our body awareness, our leg length, is all going to be different. You know the move. So maybe you're going quicker or slower. That's okay. Give me two more and then we've got those squeezes. And one. Find that length. Reach the hips away. Squeeze your heels together. Little taps for seven, six, Five, keep it small. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Slowly bring it down. Good job. Bring yourself up onto that forearm elbow in line with hip under your shoulder. Long leg. Bending your knee in if you need some support. Top leg reaches up. We're going forward and back. Breath out. Inhale. Pull forward. Pull back. Think of pulling your chest back as your leg goes back so that you don't find yourself here. You're keeping a long line. Good job. Bring your gaze up so that your head is in line with your back. Two more. And one. Good job, bring that leg in. Squeeze it together, bend your knee in for support if you need. And lifting from that bottom waist, we take it up. And release down. Thinking of that bottom hip and waist coming together. And then push into your arm as you come down. We're going up for two. Hold on one. We're going to hold it for a count of five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold. And slowly release down. Sweep those legs in a little straight. Whew. Getting hot already. Good job. All the way onto the front of your body. Face down. We're going to take those hands out to the side into a gold pose position. Your face is just lightly hovering above the mat. Navel draws to spine. Inhale, we're floating up with our chest and arms. Reach your arms back, breath up. Inhale, back to gold post. Exhale, float down. So we go up on a breath in. We reach back. Bend the elbows in. Release down. And back down. Keeping that navel drawing in. A 
lightly pressing your toes to the mat. Two more. And down. And one. And down. Good. Reach your arms long, stretching through your legs. And press into your hands as you draw your navel up away from the mat. Floating up through the legs first. Do you still have your space in your navel? Good. Now we float up through the arms. We're going to kick arms and legs as we take an inhale for a count of five. And breath out for a five count. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Long arms and legs. Two more rounds. Final round. Good job. Bring it down. Well done. Slide those arms in underneath your chest, elbows under your shoulders. We'll take a moment here, pull your chest forward and up. Press into those elbows, tuck your toes to the mat from here. Then we're taking this into a plank. So chin comes to your chest and you lightly start to curl through your spine. Now your knees are pushing into the ground. Push into your toes, float your knees up, plank. Keep your hips steady, bend your knees. And then slowly curl your spine forward into that extension. Exhale, we call nod chin to chest, curl spine, press into your toes, plank. Keep your hips steady, knees float down, and then release. I like to untuck my toes when I pull my chest forward, just so I don't fall into my lower back, so you're welcome to do the same. Take this at your own pace, exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. Deeply wrapping into the core. Feel that zip up of the lower abdominals. You need two more. Working the back, core, legs. Final one, hold it at the top. We'll meet each other in plank. Find your strong plank, tap one knee, straighten the leg, opposite knee, straighten. Feel that you're keeping your spine and hips stable as you crease in the hip to tap the knee. One more on each side. Bend both knees and press yourself back into a puppy pose or child's pose, just stretching, catching your breath here for a moment. Good job, we're into that final stage. Bring yourself into a four point kneeling position, hands slightly ahead of your shoulders, and then drop your elbows down directly underneath your shoulders. I'm gonna make a small adjustment. Extend your one leg back behind you and press into those five toes. Navel and chest draw up away from the mat. Then we're gonna lift your leg, reach to that wall behind you, squeeze your bum cheek, drop the leg again. Exhale, pull up. Inhale, release with control. Keep your eyes gazing between your hands, long spine. Keep reaching that leg as far away from your body as possible keeping a steady spine. Let's go two and one. We bring that leg down, tuck your five toes into the mat and bring yourself up onto your hands. You can choose to keep your foot down or floating it up for more challenge. We're gonna dive the chest forward between the hands and press up. So if you want more support, bring that leg down back behind you. 
moving slow with control not lifting the leg any higher three two more and one bring that leg in find your center down to the elbows and over to the other side extend that leg back press into those five toes eyes gaze between your hands exhale we lift pull down draw your navel up and away from the mat pressing down into the forearms keep weight into the arm of the moving leg so that you're not falling over you want your chest in the center of the mat Feel like you're pulling your leg through a body of water. Give me three, two, and one. Bring that leg down, tuck into the five toes, lift up, and bring your hands a little bit closer in. You can choose to keep the toes here, or float them up into that press up. Exhale. Slowly down and lift. When you go down as far as you don't feel like you're collapsing in your chest or your shoulders, you can always come back to the class and build up. Long spine, long neck. Three, two. Good job, bring it in. Tucking into those five toes. We'll finish off here. Hovering up into that four point hover. We'll find that downward dog stretch for hamstrings. Back into a hover. And lift. And hover. Control. Remembering you want a flat back as your knees come forward. Pressing into the outsides of your hands, getting those lats involved. Two. And one. Good job. Let's come to four point kneeling. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, pull the chest forward, eyes gaze forward. Lower back, middle back, curls. Lifting spine to sky. Inhale, draw the chest forward. Breath out, curl the spine from your tailbone and your chin is lost to tuck in. Keeping hips over knees, articulating from your spine. Let's go two more, starting to increase those exhales, drawing up. And one more, bringing that heart rate down, shifting back into our calm state. And straight spine, finishing it off with our twist, arm closest to me, reaches up, deep breath in. Thread through and under. We'll take it two more times. This feels really good on my back. Coming back from being sick. I can feel this into the back of my chest. Let's take it over to the other side. Reaching up, deep breath in. Threading through. Use your bottom arm to support you so that you don't fall into the mat. Big stretch through the chest, front and back. Give me one more. 
and under and back to neutral. You take those knees nice and wide, drop into your hips, extend through the arms. Find a full expansive breath into the side and back of your rib cage. And as you exhale, allow yourself to just soften down towards the ground, stretching through the arms, the neck, the chest. And into those hips, one last breath. And slowly bring yourself back to center. And you can come to seated. Thank you so much for joining me for that class. I hope that you enjoyed it. You felt that we were keeping to our foundations, adding a little bit of fun. And I hope that you found this energizing and you're welcome to come back to this on a daily basis because it is full body. Comment below, let me know how you found this class and also leave the link for all the details to the membership down in the description below as well and come and join us there. I will see you in our next class. Bye for now.